Hi YouTube, hope you guys are having a beautiful day today. So today I have a beautiful Kapsa Arabian style rice cooked with meat. The meat is so juicy and so tender you can see it and the rice is so flavorful. It's an Arabian style, it's a Kapsa rice. Uh, this is my friend's recipe. So to get started guys, I have a pot filled with uh, olive oil or you can use canola oil or it doesn't matter but I prefer to use olive oil and fry fresh garlic fresh garlic is the key to the flavor of this dish so always fry the fresh garlic and also followed by bay leaves I'm adding in a bit of bay leaves after my garlic has been fried and infused with the oil and a little bit of tomatoes onions and then we're gonna keep adding a bit of spices afterwards so there you go my bay leaf maybe fry to about one to four minutes and then you can add in your tomatoes and onions I mean trust me guys this dish was packed with flavors especially the saffron infused with the milk creates the rice to be very flavorful and the meat was really tender and juicy it'll just the meat will just fall off the bone I swear to God trust me guys you should try this dish it's a different uh, and a very flavorful dish and I loved it and this is a secret ingredient I uh, gotta add it to when you're frying your onions and garlic that is uh, my uh, ground uh, cinnamon clove and cardamom not to a fine powder but a little bit like of using a pestle and mortar and you need to add a heaps of butter maybe one to two tablespoon of butter and the butter creates that uh, very buttery uh, flavor to the dish and then you add in the bones I'm, I've got mutton bones here you can use lamb or chicken but I'm making today with mutton so I've added the mutton bones mutton bones is a must for this dish because I need to get that extra bit of stock the bones releases its juices to the uh, pot and when I start to cook my rice and it tastes very flavorful the stock from the bones releases its flavor to the water and the water cooked get gets cooked in rice and it's beautiful and uh, I'm adding in my curry piece meat mutton meat I've cut it into large uh, chunk pieces because uh, I prefer to be large chunky curry pieces so I've add my bones my meat at least if you don't have access to the bones maybe try to find one or two bones because you don't want to add the uh, artificial stock and uh, I'm gonna add in uh, three spices here ground cinnamon ground cardamom and also paprika and salt is always according to your taste and we're gonna add uh, maybe three to four cups of water and we're gonna cook until the meat is tender and the bones mutton bones release its juice uh, to the pot I've added all my spices I'm going to give it a good mix make sure all the spices are well coated with the meat <coughs> I mean trust me guys the meat is gonna be really juicy and your friends and family will love this dish make sure you use the best brand rice I use uh, Watani Watani is a very premium quality basmati rice it's a very long grain rice and it tastes absolute magic the rice goes really well with this dish So everything looks all good I'm gonna add in a few cups of water make sure all the meat and the bones are covered with water and then we're gonna cook for at least at least for one hour 60 minutes on a high heat we want the uh, water to get uh, infused with the mutton bones and the stock and then we're going to cook the rice in that water so the rice get flavored with the meat uh, stock
So it's been about one hour. So I'm trying to cook this in a rice cooker. So to my rice, it's just a raw rice. I've put in about five cups of raw rice. It's not been cooked, uncooked rice. I'm adding in all the bones and meat, which is so soft and tender. And I'm going to grab all the stock, the water that tastes absolute magic. It's it's really flavorful water. I'm going to use that water to cook my rice along with my uh, meat. So this is like you're cooking the meat and rice together on one same pot. So you're going to pour the entire water, the stock, that's mutton stock, 